Yo, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games, a series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you guys right here in this video. I can't promise you guys that they're going to be any good, but I can promise you guys that we're going to have some fun. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. This game is called Third World Girlfriend. The only description is that you have a girlfriend from Venezuela coming over here. What? And you're this sad bald sack shit who probably smells like rotten eggs. We're just gonna press A to start and let's do this thing. Hola amigo. Soy Consuelo. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Josh. What a beautiful dog you have here. I used to have many dogs, but when the fuck socialism is wrong with the dog's legs? my country, we run out of food, so we have to kill them all in order to eat their corpses. Wow, that's sad. Yeah, it is. But it made me learn an important lesson. Dogs are like an investment. You give them food, make them fat, and when the hard times comes, you can have all the money back in form of food. Yeah, it's makes Jesus sense. Christ, what the, the hell's wrong with you? The concept could be applied to have children, right? No, you are disgusting. Sorry. I didn't mean that. Let's forget about it. You paid me to clean your backyard, so let's work. B. B. X. B. Can I press Y? Oh yeah, Y. Like, why the fuck am I playing this? A. X is what you're gonna be in a second. You ain't my girlfriend. Y. A. I apologize, guys. What in the fuck? What are we doing here? I thought you were gonna clean my backyard. I don't know if that's proper cleaning technique. I'm not even trying to be funny here. That's certainly not how I clean my house. Now she's twerking, and the dog is loving it. He is loving it. He's like McDonald's right now. He's ba da ba ba loving this shit. Can I get a Deadpool sound effect on this woman right now, please? What in the actual ass? Thank you. Oh, and I can pull out my phone. Oh shit! Oh, what shit. the fuck? What the fuck is the dog doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Every time I miss a letter that's popped up in this bubble, the dog starts barking for some reason. Oh, dog's getting mad again. The pooch is getting mad again! The pooch is loose! Fuck! I don't know why he keeps doing that to her! My time is over, and I just finished my job. Would you like to hire me for more? I'd love but for more of I'm that shit. The moment. The fuck okay. was that? Feel free to call me. What did you, you just do? Goodbye. I you cursed my backyard my house. with your freaking voodoo Next time dancing. I'll do my best. Get out of here! Where the fuck did you even come from? There's nothing over there. This game is called Titanic the Game, and just judging by the way this game looks, I apologize. So left and right to move. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm playing as the iceberg, or apparently it looks like a rock with a face. I am playing as the iceberg. When you think of the Titanic game, you don't want to play as the fucking iceberg. You don't want to play as the shitty freaking ice fucking bird. You want to play as the people inside the Titanic to experience it for yourself. But the Titanic is almost here. So, I guess we're just gonna let it run into us. Let's do this. Is it gonna be on target? Is it gonna cross paths with me? I think it is. Alright, here it goes! I'm sorry, everybody. I did not want to be the iceberg. It did not sink that fast. It didn't. Oh, shit! That was loud as dick in my ears. What? Titanic 2? How do I hit you? Oh, that's how I hit you. I have little icicles coming out of my skull. All right, get wrecked, you freaking noob. Come on, get to work, get to work. Oh, he's almost dead. And I only have one more heart. Okay, I'm gonna do this, guys. I'm gonna lock in, I'm gonna focus. Let's go. Rub the nipples for good luck. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, hide right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For the fireman. Do it for the fireman. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you win. Alt F4 to quit. I'm too lazy to implement a quit button. This game is called A Nightmare on Sesame Street. It's made by the same person who developed 3AM at the Krusty Krab and the Dora is Dead game. 
Let's see how this one goes. Closing the apartment doors is the only way to escape Freddy. Fuck. Okay. That's how I open shit. Oh, there's Freddy. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Freddy. Close it. Whoa. Okay, he can't come in here, right? Because Freddy can't open doors, apparently. What do I do? Where do I go? So many questions. So little answers. I don't know what you want me to do here. Can I open this up? Nope. Freddy apparently does not have vision at all. Because I'm over here with my dick hanging out and my flashlight out. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, knock at the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, a big fat hen. Okay. You're mine now. Oh, fuck. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Oh, Freddy, Freddy, fuck Freddy. Fuck you, Freddy. Fuck you, Freddy. <laughs> Come on, man. That is not cool. Freddy is fast as fuck, boy! Hmm, the radio's dead. I need to find another to wake up. Okay, so I have to find a radio to wake up. Interesting. Usually when I know that I'm dreaming, I like try to close my eyes in my dream and then like force myself to wake up. You guys know what I mean? Like, don't you guys have those moments when you know you're dreaming and then you're trying to wake yourself up? I can't be the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Okay, Freddy's over there. And it says, oh fuck, Elmo's scared. Oh shit, oh shit, oh come on, come on Freddy, Freddy, fuck off, where is the freaking door that I can close? Oh Freddy, oh fuck Freddy, no, don't fuck me in the corner, no, I'm sorry, I'll be a good Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though, every time I do have a nightmare, I don't seem to know that I'm having a nightmare, fuck off, fuck off, close it. Okay, he can't come in here. Yeah, it's only like when I'm having a good dream, I'm like, oh okay, this is a dream, so I can wake myself up anytime. Freddy, what the fuck? He's trying to come back here. No. Thank you. Evaporate into existence, you fuck. Wait. He reappeared so quick. How do I get out of here? Come on, Fred. Come on, Fred. Fred is dead. Yeah, get out of here. You big old good for nothing. Oh, shit. He's right there. Okay, I'm going to go this way. He seems to like being over there. I'm going to leave him alone. Okay, never mind. I can't go that way. Where are the radios? Oh shit. Where is he? Oh my god, come on! Freddy! Freddy! The word of the day is fuck off, Freddy! Oh shit, this is scary. This is spooky. This is spooky as fuck. He's behind me, isn't he? Come on, Freddy, don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Don't you do this to me! Not in the back alley, Freddy! Don't give it to me in the back alley! Fuck off! No! Oh shit! Freddy! Freddy! It wasn't me! It was those kids on Elm Street! This is fucking Sesame Street! I did not kill you! Damn it! Wait, there's a radio right there! Oh fuck! Wake up, wake up! Wake the fuck up! Wake the fuck up! Wake the fuck up! Wake the fuck up! It says, oh no, that wasn't enough to wake up. I need to find another radio. No, I am not gonna find another radio because I'm done. This last game is called Robin. The music seems pretty chill. So let's start this and see how it goes. So all of your blood tests have come back. You really couldn't find anything? But why do I feel so tired all the time? At least we have eliminated what it could be. I suppose. Why does the music remind me of Life is Strange? Maybe it's all in my head. Or maybe I'm just lazy. Feeling defeated, Robin decides to spend the long weekend at home to try to recover some energy. This is her weekend. Water plants. It's too early to sleep. Feed Robin. Take a shower. Make something to eat. Read a book. Browse the internet. Okay, so we have to go throughout Robin's day, and she is suffering from something called chronic fatigue syndrome. It's basically when you don't have as much energy as, like, a normal person. I think you get tired really fast. I don't want to speak on it like I know everything about it, but I was just, like, briefly reading the description of the game, and that's what it is. So I have to choose what I want her to do throughout the day. So first, let's make something to eat because we kind of look a little hungry, and her energy is running out really fast. So, I don't want to wash the dishes. We have to keep our priorities straight. We don't need to wash the dishes. So, let's feed Robin. Because that's muy importante to feed your pets. Do some work. Yes. And our energy is almost out. We only did three things so far. Water plants. 
Can't let those die. And then I think we can use the bathroom. I'm too tired for that. So we gotta go to bed. Wow. The foul smell of unwashed dishes kept you awake. You'll have to do them soon. You sighed. It's been a while since you did some fun navigating on social media. You feel filthy. You were too tired to shower and it feels gross. Your dirty clothes are piling up. Good thing no one's visiting. You glance upon your backlog of books. Someday you'll get around to reading them. You woke up feeling even more exhausted than usual. That's terrible. I've never heard of chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm actually gonna look that up real quick. It says here that chronic fatigue syndrome is common. There are more than 200,000 US cases per year, damn. And treatment can help, but this condition cannot be cured. And it can last for years or be lifelong. And it's more commonly found in women. I wonder why that is. And we only have half energy and we only did two things. So let's make sure that we feed Robin. And then I'll water the plants again. And I know that the person that we're playing as said that they would get around to reading their books, but I don't really feel like that's a high priority, at least for me. So let's water the plants again, because I don't want them to die. And that teensy amount of energy that we have left, we're going to use it to go to bed. So let's see what she thinks about that. Your stomach rumbling kept you awake. I forgot to eat. Although exhausted, you had to make a sandwich in the night. You sighed. It's been a while since you did some fun navigating on social media. Your dirty clothes are piling up. Good thing no one's visiting. You glance upon your backlog of books. Okay, I gotta read them. And you felt very guilty. You didn't do any work on your novel. It was a tiring day still. So let's pick up our clothes. No, let's make something to eat. Because usually food gives you energy. But I don't know how much that helps out if you have the chronic fatigue syndrome. And then do we do the dishes? Um... Let's, uh, fuck. This is tough. Okay, I picked up my clothes. And then, um, feed Robin. And the plants can go one more day without me watering them. You can water a plant, like, every few days, I think. But I don't have a green thumb for that. I have my thumb up my ass all the time. I don't know, like, when you're supposed to water plants. I'm too tired for anything. Okay. You looked over at your unwatered plants. They're barely hanging on. But I watered them two days in a row. Come on, plants. Don't be greedy now. I know you're thirsty, but don't be greedy. The foul smell of unwashed dishes kept you awake. You'll have to do them soon. And you sighed. You haven't browsed social media. And I feel filthy because I haven't showered. And I still have a shitload of books to read. And just like that, the weekend's over. Robin has got through the weekend, but barely. Her plants are dying, she hasn't eaten properly, and the place is a mess. She realizes that she will be paying for her mistakes in the coming week. She dreads going to work the next day. Oh, that's it? Is there anything that I can do to fix that? Because I thought I had my priorities straight, but maybe there's no happy ending to a game like this because there's so many things that you have to do in a day, and this game is just trying to show you that if you have chronic fatigue syndrome, that you can't get all those things done because if you have this going on within you then you're not able to do those things let me try it again i think i know what to do guys i'm not gonna water the plants i'm not gonna feed the bird i'm gonna make something to eat do my work take a shower pick up my clothes and then go to sleep i think that's gonna work because i don't think i need to feed the plants and feed the bird on the first day so let's do some work and i think showering and picking up my clothes to make sure you know we have good hygiene is the best thing so let's take a shower and should i feed the bird i don't want the bird to die but i'm only not feeding it for one day so i think the bird can hang on right and then go to bed so we used all our energy wisely you looked over at your unwatered plants you shouldn't forget to tend to them this weekend and robin is mad at me and the unwashed dishes and i haven't browsed social media and i have the books to read and i'm more exhausted than usual so this time we're gonna feed robin see look the dishes are washing themselves it doesn't even give me an option to do it oh fuck i clicked eat damn it okay um water plants and that's it damn okay so this day i really gotta like browse social media or like do something that can take her mind off all the boring shit that she's doing so let's uh browse the internet there you go. And then um, read a book, feed Robin, and then take a shower. And I think this should be good. 
because I did fun stuff like browsing the internet and reading some books. You know, those are some fun times. Those are some good things to do. Nothing boring like washing the dishes or picking up clothes. And let's go to bed. And hopefully I got the best ending. Come on. Your stomach rumbling kept you awake. Although exhausted, you had to make a sandwich in the night. You looked over at your unwatered plants. They're barely hanging on. Your dirty clothes are piling up. Good thing no one's visiting. You felt very guilty. You didn't do any work on your novel. And just like that, the weekend's over. Robin has managed to get through the weekend without too much strain and is happy with her productivity. She has hope for the week of work ahead. She might just be able to manage. And there you go. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. If you guys would like to see more of this series, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.